Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Scott's Soldiers. Today I want to share with you a short video of my selection of Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, also known as the Princess Pats or PPCLI. This regiment was formed in 1914 to serve in World War I and remains an active element of the Canadian Army today. I'm not aware of many makers of these figures and for my part I only have Britons and soldier soldiers but if you are looking for some Scott Dummett's website Pride of the Nation still has some sets available so let's dive into what I have to show you today I think it only fair that I begin with Britain's Princess Pat's set number 1633 according to James Opie noted authority on Britain's figures the company made these from 1938 to 1941 and resumed post-war 1946 to 1966. Britons did reproduce a set, number 8856, in the mid-1990s, which would be a nice addition and complement what I already have. Britons produced a number of Canadian military figures in this time period, but outside of the RCMP, and the Governor General's Horse Guards, number 1631, the Princess Pats were the most prolific and longest running of the Canadian military figures. Britons were the first to produce sets of the Princess Pats, and other makers have stepped in and done their own versions over the last half century. The figures are most noteworthy for the Wolseley helmets and blue facings. I'll save you the time and bother of having to count. I have 48 of these figures, including the officers, which would I think make six sets, most of which I bought from Andy Morant of London and Joe Wallace. Some of these figures you likely already saw in episode 8, entitled Paris Office, Deposé or Bust. Many of my older figures are stamped Deposé on the base, and this is more a quirk of Britain's production versus any connection to Britain's Paris office. Note how some say W.M. Britons or William Britons, while others are simply stamped Britons Limited. If you are interested in the Britons Princess Pats, they are not too difficult to find given their long production run. I was fortunate to purchase this set, number 332A, from the late John Tunstall of Soldier Soldiers. This set is nicely detailed and well painted and represents the regiment in the 1930s style of uniform, like the Britons. Soldier Soldiers did a number of other Canadian sets, but I'll save those for another day. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this glimpse of my Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry. I'll leave a link to the PPCLI's website if you are interested in learning more about this regiment. If you can, leave a like, or if you're not a subscriber, think about becoming one, and you'll get notifications when episodes are uploaded. Thank you, and keep collecting.